one of the things I wanted to address was how people change for each other, and women in particular give themselves up. So can you just discuss that very delicate compromise versus losing oneself? Do you think you should give yourself up for someone? That is a case-by-case -case basis, and the amount is always an open question, and I don't know. I do know that to be with anyone truly, you do. To, I, I don't want to say it's giving up. I mean, you're adding yourselves together to be something greater, you know? I mean, you could look at it that way, too. I don't feel like I... But at the same time, you will change. Um, hopefully, it's for the better. Um, um, you will change, and you will have some humility, and um, um, to what degree is the change beneficial and helpful and, and worthy and to what degree is it detrimental to your happiness and your soul? That is truly a, a, a case by case basis and that's, that's the question that's I think we're gonna explore. Yeah. yeah, that's an incredible topic to explore in a romantic comedy of you start out as an individual and then you join forces and just to like look at it like Esther Perel does, when you're younger, you're sort of growing together, but when you meet when you're older, you have sort of solidified individual personalities. And I think it, in my perspective, it's really healthy to look at it where you're not necessarily looking for your missing puzzle piece. You might think that initially, but the reality is you're going to be working with another person who knows no more than you do and is just trying to hold on to their own identity. And can you love each other and find happiness despite all that? And that's an inherently interesting thing to discover. And with these two people in particular, because they're, they seem like polar opposites, um, foundationally coming together, that's part of what attracts them, but it's also what makes for a very interesting series. You guys say things to each other that to me are kind of shocking, um, and it makes you fall in love with each other, but I guess here you call it edge, and you kind of like insult each other throughout this. <laughs> is, that a, is, that like, is, is that okay to do? Can you just talk about that? Because well, it was strange for me. In, in my relationship, we are very edgy, and we uh, use sarcasm a lot as a way of love, and we are very playful and poking at each other. But that's because that's what my husband and I both find stimulating. I live by the idea that everything deserves to be loved and everything deserves to be embarrassed. I think those are, you, you have to stay grounded that way. I think that the, the particular tone you might be referring to is what Erin Foster kind of lives by. And if yeah. you listen to her podcast with her sister, yeah. um, you'll understand that they talk in a very outgoing, edgy, um, uh, playful, um, provocative way. Erin is very provocative by nature, and so she sort of infused a lot of that into Noah and Joanne's relationship. Yeah. And for you, are you easily hurt then? Or? I mean, I'd say my relationship, we tease each other less than yours, you know, but I don't think we're better for it. I mean, I, I also love um, um, a, good, a good joke at my expense. I'm gonna go home and insult my husband. Please do. And Tell see my how it goes. Tell him I sent you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.